Uh, Mars Science Lab is uh, a, uh, the largest rover to be sent to Mars. And it should be able to stay alive on the surface of Mars for, for maybe even up to a decade. So there's uh, 10 science instruments on board the rover. Uh, they're going to be looking at the Mars geology, where they're going to be, uh, have a weather station on board. The Mars Science Laboratory mission is, uh, is a very ambitious mission by, uh, by NASA. Its main purpose is help uh, characterize the geology and the climate of Mars and determine the habitability of Mars. The, the camera mast actually stands uh, six feet high, so you can see from the camera what you would see if you were actually standing on the surface of Mars. You need an aeroshell in order to get through the atmosphere of Mars. Remember, when we cruise through space coming from Earth, we hit Mars at about 13,000 miles an hour, which is an incredible speed. Uh, and so you need a heat shield. And that's the first thing that's part of our aeroshell that we've built for this lander, is a very capable heat shield. There's also uh, protection on the back shell. So it forms like a capsule that protects this delicate rover from these incredible heating forces. The other thing the aeroshell does provide though as well is a lifting surface. It's canted at a 16 degree angle of attack in order to be able to steer it through the atmosphere. It banks back and forth in order to perform a guided uh, precision landing on Mars, which has never been done before. We're here in the Denver second floor factory, which is where we built the aeroshell composite. We've used the oven that I'm standing in to cure the composite heat shield, and this, this composite has to go to extreme heats to cure. The oven baking of the composite serves two purposes for an aeroshell. It serves for the planetary protection purposes, and it also cures the heat shield composite. We want to ensure that we don't contaminate the surface of Mars. The uh, two major challenges on the MSL program were just the sheer size of the aeroshell. Very large, it's much larger than what we have done in the past, so the logistics of handling it, the fabrication of it, all quite a challenge. Second big challenge was we had to go to a different thermal protection system on the heat shield, and it's a, it was a new system. We had to develop it, qualify it, and get it ready for the mission. The, the thermal protection system we're using on the heat shield is PICA. It's phenolic impregnated carbon ablator. It's a very robust system and that's why it was chosen for MSL. The environments for MSL are more severe than our previous entries and so it was deemed that PICA was the right choice for the heat shield. This mission, we're all anxious to see it land on the surface of Mars. It's also the biggest aeroshell we've ever built, the most challenging aeroshell we've ever built, the most challenging entry, descent, and landing phase ever in a Mars mission. So when it finally reaches the surface of Mars, we're all going to be elated. Every, every engineer has their gulp moment. Ours, of course, is, is getting through and getting to entry and then jettisoning, and we'll be, we'll be happy at that, but we all as engineers want to see this this mission work and work well.